Welcome to the Reimagine Podcast. Each week, we'll explore InsureTech innovation from our incubator based in Hartford, Connecticut. From startups to scale-ups, innovators to entrepreneurs, we'll bring you conversations with people making it happen in Hartford. Hi, this is Paul Tyler with another episode of the Reimagine Podcast, and we're broadcasting live today from Las Vegas. Kate, how are you? I'm doing well. And we have some very special guests with us in the Hartford VIP room. First of all, Mayor Bronin, welcome. Good morning. Great to be with you. Hey, thank you. And congratulations on your recent uh, uh, primary victory. <laughs> Thanks very much. We're, we're, we're very happy the, the voters uh, it came to a good conclusion here. Uh, Mayor's been a very strong supporter of, of innovation here in Hartford. I'd also like to introduce Ajala from Travelers. Ajala. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you. And Matt from Pineapple. Hey, Paul. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you. And um, uh, very interesting year, Ajala. Uh, this is a fir- the first event for you. Yeah, correct? that's right. First year at ITC. I have to say it's, um, it's pretty wild. So many people, so many sessions, so many startups. Um, you know, it's been hard to just keep up with the schedule and be able to fit everything in. Yeah, and, tra- and uh, Travelers has a, a very large contingent here. We do, we do. We've probably got about 25 to 30 people here. Um, we'll be doing a keynote tomorrow morning, so hopefully you guys can all be there for that on claims. Um, but just, you know, really excited to be here and be able to plug into all the different things going on. Okay, and, and uh, uh, Mayor Brown, this is the second year in a row we've had a Hartford uh, VIP uh, uh, room. I'm going to tell you, this year is hands down the best VIP room I think we've had in <laughs> <laughs> two years. Well, you know, uh, we had a pretty good presence here last year, uh, and uh, it was the first time that Hartford was here. Uh, the, the entire Hartford insurance and innovation community together representing Hartford. Uh, this year it's happening in a much more coordinated way, and, and I think it's that much more powerful. So we want people to come away from this convention where you've got thousands and thousands of people and at least hundreds and hundreds of startups and investors and insurers all here to come away with a real uh, recognition of the energy and the activity that's happening in Hartford. Yeah. And, and, and Matt, maybe talk to us about your journey. Like if we rewound the clock last year, I mean, I don't think Hartford was on your map. Is that correct? Or on your, uh, certainly wasn't in your, uh, your travel trip itinerary. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's correct, Paul. So if I re- think about where we were last year, we had just launched our product in South Africa, got some great growth. Um, and we always knew we wanted to take the pineapple model global, but the U.S. and exactly how to go about that and when and and just uh, really what means to do that wasn't wasn't within our grasp. Um, so the Hartford InsureTech Hub, they reached out to us as part of their fa- fast track program. Um, and it's just been an amazing experience. This ecosystem is very supportive. Being part of NASA RE and Hartford InsureTech Hub, we really had the, a spotlight sh- shined on us and been able to interact with really important stakeholders and potential partners, which is progressing the journey very nicely. Yeah, and uh, Mayor, uh, I think there are few elected officials of your caliber here at the event. Certainly, I, I can't think of anybody else who's kind of leading a contingent like this. Why, why isn't SureTech important, uh, and why is this uh, so high in your agenda? We've set a, a pretty clear and bold goal, I and mean, we want Hartford to be the InsureTech capital of the world. Hartford has such a long and proud insurance tradition. We've got such amazing insurance companies in our city, and we want Hartford to be at the leading edge of revolutionizing the industry, just as we were at the leading edge of building it. And uh, so to me, it's important to be here working side by side with our private sector partners uh, and uh, you know carrying the flag. But we also want companies to know whether we're talking about investors, whether we're talking about other insurance companies, or whether we're talking about startups, that when they come to Hartford, they really are coming to a community that is excited about insure tech, that's wrapping uh, you know, our arms around uh, anybody who's working in that space and inviting everybody to be part of the ecosystem here. Uh, Ajala, uh, Travelers uh, was one of the first companies to actually not only put time, but actually put dollars behind building the ecosystem. And in uh, the Hartford area, um, wh- wh- what's next? I mean, where, where does uh, Travelers, you know, take the energy and, and momentum you've created at your company? Well, it's been great. I mean, to see the ecosystem growing, to have so many startups near us that we can continue to work with without having to worry about traveling too far or trying to get them to come visit us has been really great both for the startups and for us. Um, we are being challenged by the startups to really think about 
how we've been doing business for the last over 120 years and how we're going to continue uh, to build that up. And that's been really exciting. And I think on the other hand, we've had an increasing amount of engagement of our employees with a lot of the startups. So not just through uh, startup boot camps and sure tech hub, but a lot of the other initiatives that are going on, um, getting more engaged with you, Paul, at NASA RE, and then you have Upward Labs, where they're doing a lot on uh, kind of uh, home, kind of smart homes and smart buildings and uh, adult healthcare. And so just really figuring out how do we keep plugging into that because we're learning as much as we're able to share our learnings. Yeah, and Matt, what what are your goals of the next uh, you know six months in in, in Hartford so that uh, you know the, the investment you've made in time and effort uh, you know turns into you know business uh, you know development traction? Yeah, so our goals are primarily secure a carrier partner to launch Pineapple into the market, um, then secure some funding. Um, there's a few regulatory aspects that we have to get over as well, um, and then we really want to launch our first product into the market, into the U.S., um, and see where it goes from there. Yeah, and Mayor Bronin, I, you know, we, you had talked earlier a little bit about uh, the, the spirit of partnership and collaboration in Hartford, and I think, you know, Travelers is a great example. There are a number of carriers that have, you know, even had open conversations about what are our challenges, you know, how can startups in the InsurTech system um, kind of alleviate those challenges and bring new jobs into, into our city. So... I wondered if you speak a little bit about that and that energy of collaboration sure. that Hartford has. I mean, I, I don't know if you can find any other place where you've got companies like the Travelers and the Hartford and you know Cigna and Aetna and NASA RE and on and on and on all working together uh, in one accelerator where they are you know jointly. Uh, putting their innovation teams at the table, finding some of the most promising startups around the world, bringing them to one community, and then working with them. I don't, I don't know if there is any other example of collabor collaboration like that. Uh, and then beyond the accelerate, and then you, know, then you add uh, initiatives that companies are launching on their own, like Nassau Reimagine at, at Nassau Re, which is creating a place where those startups can then, you know, uh, begin to sink down roots and grow, uh, even if it's after going through the accelerator or if they never went through the accelerator. And then you add the innovation work that's happening at a place like Hartford Steam Boiler, uh, and you add companies like you know Infosys or like uh, Galaxy, which has been working with Cigna and just decided to move to Hartford. All of that, I think, is a testament to the, to the collaboration that's happening in Hartford. And I, I really don't know that there's any other place where that level of collaboration within the industry is happening in such a deliberate way. And, and obviously, everybody who's a part of that is doing it because they want to identify the technologies and the models that are going to change uh, you know, their, their business. But I think what's exciting is that uh, all the stakeholders who are part of the Hartford Innovation Ecosystem, Launch Hartford, are also doing it because they see the value of growing Hartford uh, as the place where all this is happening. Yeah, I, it's, it's a wonderful and uh, contagious spirit. You know, very, very positive energy. Um, so, Ojala... You know, you have a great, rich history of, of, of startup world, and, you know, I wondered if you could speak a little bit about Reset and, you know, uh, your experience. Sure. So um, going back all the way to 2012 when there was really not much uh, startup activity, maybe because Mayor Bronin wasn't around then. But, um, you know, it, it was a time where we really recognized that there needs to be more support for business, for entrepreneurship, for startups. And um, so Reset School was really focused around how do we uh, create more local community businesses that are going to take root there, create jobs locally, um, have some sort of uh, positive impact in the communities they're within. And that took more than just focusing on finding those startups. It took building out a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship uh, in a city where you didn't really have it outside of maybe little pockets within some of our immigrant communities that were really strong on their business ethics and, and wanting to launch. Um, so a lot of building the foundations, a lot of connecting the right types of mentorship, um, launching smaller incubator and accelerator programs. Um, and so, you know, doing that for seven years, seeing that ecosystem grow and then being able to work with uh, Launch Hartford. Um, so I'm, I sit on their board. I've been involved in kind of the whole process since we were uh, putting it together. And it's been incredible to see all of the different um, 
kind of corporate carriers coming in, not just in sure tech, but advanced manufacturing, in um, uh, med tech, in just lots of different pockets within the community come together and say, you know what, we're, 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 commu- we're really committed as a community together to make sure that we strengthen the kind of local economy. And may that be through startups coming from South Africa, or may that be through nurturing the startups that are born here in Hartford. Um, it's just been great to see all of that come together. And now we're, we're on the map. You know, people see us as like, wow, there's activity happening in Hartford. Uh, and it's great that we have such a great presence here at uh, uh, ITC because it just creates more of that buzz and pulls people in. And so they ask, what's going on and how can I get involved? Yeah, I, I, I think we're going to surprise a lot of people over the next uh, year or so. I, I had one conversation with a corporate venture uh, um, uh, uh, fund manager. I said, well, you know, you know, we're trying to pull them into some of our events, and I, I, he said to me, "Well, you know, we're not, we're not really interested in companies that aren't making over a million dollars in annual revenue." And I said, "Well, we actually have a couple here, <laughs> so we're suddenly starting to track some companies and build some companies where I think people are going to start take note. If Matt gets a starts to get a, a builds up a strong or positive, um, you know, proof of concept or launch a product here in the U.S." Um, we'll, we'll have some people knocking on our doors looking to put put money. So, um, Mayor Brown, I think they should, ones that they talk to us now <laughs> are going to have easier, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll give them a heads up sooner. What do you think? <laughs> well, look, I, I think what's, it's worth noting that, you know, if you're a startup, there are huge advantages to being in a place like Hartford because you can build the relationships much faster than you could in, in uh, you know, bigger metros like New York or, or you know, uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, but the same thing is equally true if you're an investor. You know, if you're, if you're an investor, if you're a fund, uh, you've got a concentration of insurance companies that are looking to invest in exactly the same types of companies that you're looking to invest in, that can be co-investors with you, that can invest in your fund. So th- whether you're approaching it from the perspective of a startup or from the perspective of a fund or an investor, there's a lot of reason uh, to take some interest in a community like Hartford and what's happening there. Yeah. Well, I, I want to be respectful of everybody's time. I know we've all got you know busy docs. Mayor, thank you for your time. Uh, Mayor, what, what's if if uh, if uh, you know companies want to find out more about what's going on in Hartford, other carriers? What, what's the best way for them to connect with? Uh, with the the, uh, the community or the government here? Uh, well, you can always reach out to me, uh, I'm <laughs> luke.bronin at hartford.gov, and uh, I'll pass you uh, to, you know, make the introductions that uh, that uh, that would be most helpful. But beyond that, you know, look up Launch Hartford. Launch Hartford is the brand for our innovation ecosystem. Uh, we've got a great team that is coordinating this effort, and it's beyond insurance and insure tech. It's also advanced manufacturing, it's digital health, um, and there's been some really organic growth in, in areas like, you know, smart building and elder care, all of which complement each other. So uh, I, I encourage you to look up Launch Hartford, uh, reach out to the folks there, uh, or feel free to reach out to me. But uh, but again, back to where we started, the beauty of what's happening in Hartford is that we're all connected. So no matter what your entry point, you'll get to the right place. Yeah. All right. Listen, thank you very much. appreciate all your time. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys.